Welcome back to KVU News at 5. During Black History Month, it's important to remember the great musicians of the past. Today, KVU's Bob Buckaloo tells the story of a classical pianist. She's on a mission to share with the world the music of an unknown composer who struggled against discrimination. Here's a musical moment in the life of the gifted classical pianist, Michelle Kahn, a woman on a mission, a quest to help us discover the music of another musician who was almost lost to history. Kahn is championing the music of Florence Price, a black woman raised in the South who composed brilliant symphonies, yet a composer who struggled to get her music heard. She made history in 1932. She's the first a black American woman composer to have a piece performed by a major symphony and the Chicago Symphony premiered her symphony number one, even though she never had her pieces performed by major orchestras in her lifetime. Others, other major orchestras. Um, she would write letters begging them to please program my music and they wouldn't. She speaks about her race and her gender um, as a handicap. She uses those words in a letter. And I'm passionate about sharing her fantastic, beautiful music with the, with the world. Can is in Austin this week preparing for a concert with the Austin Symphony Orchestra this Friday and Saturday night at the Long Center for the Performing Arts. And while Florence Price's music is not on the program this time, she will be performing the popular second piano concerto of the Russian composer Rachmaninoff. I swear he came up with some of the most beautiful melodies, you know, known to mankind in this concerto. The mix of beauty and intimacy and um, soulfulness, along with just absolute ferociousness, is just unmatched, you know, uh, with many other. Michelle Kahn, classical pianist, music professor, and a person who wants the world to remember a composer from the past who, against great odds, created music that is very much alive for us today. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.